Cheers, guys. Welcome back. And today I want to talk about a concept called borrowing from your future success. See, a lot of the times, and, and we've spoken about this in recent videos, it's very easy for us to fall into that comparison trap and to kind of have that imposter syndrome, which people talk about. And it's definitely a thing, you know, people, you, you compare yourself, you say, oh, this person has done this, this person's accomplished this, this person was born with this, whatever, and you fall into that trap. But we're gonna discuss how the, we're going to discuss the fallacy of this. We're going to discuss how it just as much as those people that you look up to or those people that you admire that you think have X, Y, Z or where, where, you know, it's them, it's the, the chosen few, blah, blah, blah. We're going to break apart those narratives. We're going to break them down, reveal them for what they are and allow you to experience abundance right now and borrow that abundance from your future self because the there's no reason that you are not enough guys and we're gonna we're gonna really hone in on this in this video so to start off with simply simply by entertaining the idea that look if you're here on this channel right now you are somebody that believes in yourself you are somebody that is on a path of self growth you're on a path of going forward you want to achieve more in your life you want to um, achieve your higher vision you want to be on your purpose manifest your dreams your goals you're clearly into self-development you want to develop yourself into the highest version you can be right and a lot of people on this planet are not not on that path right a lot of people are you know they they have negative habits they have they kind of just go through the motions. They're not really there. They don't really care. They don't have this greater vision. They don't have this kind of inner fortitude that it takes to, to do that, to, to, to create that version of themselves, to put the work in essentially and become, um, embody those higher qualities, those higher traits. They kind of just, you know, they come home, they watch whatever. And it's, it's not really to, um, be down with these people or, or put them down or anything, or, or again, to draw comparisons. But what I want you to, hone in on with this is like just the sheer fact that you are on that path already is something to that you can you can bank on is something that look no one was born with a million dollars or you know some people are technically with a million dollars if they if they get it as an inheritance but the point i'm making is nobody's born being you know a pro athlete nobody's born being um the best singer or the best dancer or the best uh speaker right these are all different things that we develop uh, and, and if you're going to go and compare yourself to somebody that's a pro and their field or their lane, if I go and compare myself to, um, you know, Tom Brady, or if I go and compare myself to Justin Bieber or Alex Hormozzi or any of these guys that are really successful and that have accomplished so much in their lives, and especially the ones at a young age, it's very easy for me to say, okay, well, I don't have this. I haven't done that. You know, where, why is it that I would deserve like so much success or deserve to feel good about myself? Right. And it's a fallacy, it's a trap because every single one of these people worked on themselves. Every single one of these people claimed and put that intention, put, you know, affirmed to themselves who it was that they were going to be. And then they, they followed up with it. They allowed themselves to dwell on that. They allowed themselves to take action from that place. They allowed themselves to embody that higher version of themselves, right? And so if you are on the path of, let's say, becoming a 10 out of 10 or a fully actualized version or, you know, just a successful per person in general, then you do deserve it. You do deserve good things in your life. You do deserve positive outcomes. You don't need to put it, put this thing off into the future that say, oh, well, I don't deserve it until I have X amount of money or I don't deserve it until I do accomplish X, Y, Z goal, right? You deserve to have good things in your life. You deserve to feel good about yourself right here and right now. You deserve to feel that, that powerful, that feeling of success and confidence, even if you haven't accomplished that external uh, accomplishment, whatever it is, you, you haven't gotten that exact thing, that exact outcome that you're looking for yet, right? Imagine um, the scenario with Michael Jordan. Um, a lot of people kind of are aware of the fact that Michael Jordan got rejected from varsity on his high school team, right? Well, so he, he was rejected by the external world, but his future self was one is one of the greatest players of all, that has ever lived. He's one of the greatest players of all time, right? So Michael Jordan did not accept that narrative that, oh, I'm getting rejected and oh, I don't deserve success. 
he went the exact opposite. He had that belief in himself. He, it was to the point where he was really arrogant. And actually, he kind of like <laughs> t- takes it like over the top. He, you know, he would like trash talk his opponents and all this. And not saying that we need to be arrogant about the thing. But when you believe it so much, when you know it to such a high degree, it's not so much what you tangibly, factually have in your life right now. If he was relying on the external 3D as proof of his worthiness or of his success or his of his potential, then he wouldn't have continued on. He would have just been like, oh, you know, I'm not good enough for varsity. So, you know, I'm probably never going to make it to the to college basketball there, let alone the pros. You know, I've let alone the NBA, let alone all my dreams and goals and aspirations. Right. He didn't let it phase him. In fact, he let he he was fueled by it and it led him to practice even more and to take it more and more seriously. So, you know, that's one example of like him allowing himself to feel that future success. Now he's, he's going to, he's going to dwell on that state. He's going to focus on it. Um, and you know, it's, it's very interesting that in Michael Jordan's case, you know, people talk a lot about manifesting height, increased height. And I actually read his biography and his, his mother actually put salt in his shoes because he was only, I think it was like six, two or something. And he wanted to manifest that growth in height. And I think it was when he was 18, 19, his mother was throwing salt in his shoes, telling him, yeah, if you, if you do this, you're going to grow. And so he actually manifested growing to six foot six, which is another, you know, kind of a side tangent, um, of this, not, not particularly super relevant to what we're discussing right now, but very interesting nonetheless. And so, you know, your vision, it just goes to show, it just goes, it's proof in the pudding. And you have so many celebrities, so many um, uh, successful people that have talked about how they've dwelled in this state, how they have put and seen that version of themselves in their mind's eye, how they have, you know, spoken themselves, spoken it into existence. Um, I might do like a a little video, like a, there's a, there's a TikTok that I saw the other day that goes through all these celebrity interviews and it might be really valuable and, and kind of inspirational to do that and include that. But that's something that you can that you can see as an example. Another example <clears throat> would be, um, let's say that you know you're a guy and you know you're you know uh, you're looking for you want you want a girlfriend and the girl that you're interested in. Well, she's looking for a successful guy or just just the just the general concept of you know women like successful men, right? They're attracted to guys that um, have accomplished things that are you know can provide security, right? That are uh, successful, all these things. Well, let's say that, you know, she's looking for the successful guy and right now uh, she can meet this guy who's on his path. He's on his purpose. He has uh, um, his mission and his vision and he's striving every day and is focused. He's on the path of becoming someone who is amazing. Well, this guy, you have the opportunity as a man or as a, as a guy that's on your path to borrow that abundance from your future. Let's say that right now you're, you feel down on yourself because, you know, you, you compare yourself to these other guys and you, you know, maybe, maybe you say that, uh, uh, her past boyfriend had this, this, and this, and he had a bigger house or a nicer car or all these external things, right? Well, you're just as good of a of a proposition for her right now because as you would be if you're like you're just as good right now as if you were already were there because you're on that path. You are on the path of becoming somebody great, somebody who is great, and you have your own things to offer. You have your own things to, that, that make you unique. Just by being you, you are inherently very valuable. By being somebody who's working on themselves, who's improving themselves, who's developing themselves, and is practicing the things that we talk about on this channel, you are inherently super, super valuable, and you're unique, right? And um, you might even in some ways be better than the guy who already has that external success or those external uh, indicators of success, markers of success, because she can enjoy more time with you. Um, She can enjoy that journey with you and she can become, she can be a part of it and therefore bring her even closer to you. She can be a part of the journey, right? That's something that she wouldn't get to experience with a guy that's already achieved all these different things and it's kind of already um, at that point. So as someone who's improving themselves, like I've said, someone that's manifesting their goals, borrow your abundance from your future self because you're just as worthy of having blessings, positive outcomes in your life right now as that future you is. Um, You are the determinant of your own success, nobody else. No one's going to fundamentally change your life. You know, people get really caught up, I think, especially in this community about, you know, getting that SP or even in traditional uh, self-development circles of, oh, you know, I need to be in the right room. You know, I need to meet this right exact person and that person's going to open all the doors. Well, it's never really just one person. It's really about you. So bring your focus back onto yourself. Who is it that you are becoming? What is what kind of reality are you drawing to yourself by dwelling in these positive states, by dwelling in this positive story, by affirming to yourself what what it is that you're becoming? 
And understand that whatever path you're on, you're already there in principle because you were on that path. You are already on that timeline, even though we haven't seen everything shift around us in our reality yet, because reality, you know, it takes more time to, to conform to that new story that we're telling ourselves. You're already, you're already shifting. You've already shifted, right? And so you are, you are deserving of it right now. You're already there in principle. You're already offering as much value as you can. It's not so much what you tangibly factually have in your life. It's the journey that you're on and, it, and whether it's a positive journey or not. And that's what really what you bring to the table when it when it comes to interacting with other people, when it comes to um, you know being uh, that 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 light, and being that person that other people can look to towards for guidance, for inspiration, for um, a positive influence in their lives. And so, by embodying this version and by improving yourself and being on this path, even if you're not a ten out of ten in all ways, or you don't have this external thing or that external thing. Your default should be that I am inherently worthy. I am inherently of value. There's no reason, trust that you're enough. There's no reason that you're not enough because by being here on this planet, you have your own gifts, you have your own unique talents, your own preferences that make you unique, that make you a positive force that somebody, you know, whether it's an SP or whether it is a, you know, some other situation, business, it could be whatever related, uh, people, sh people would be lucky to have you because you are on this positive path of growth, right? Other, um, <clears throat> other people are, are <clears throat> other people experience so much abundant in their life abundance in their life there's no reason that you can't too it's supposed to happen it's why we're here so enjoy it enjoy the fact that everything is starting to go and can can start going more and more your way look at all things like this there's information that's right okay so this is a, a little dichotomy there's information that's right and there's information that's wrong and then there's also information that is relevant so going forward now what we're going to begin to shift our focus towards is in any situation, we're going to start to focus on the information that is right and the information that is relevant. You can adopt this thought that, you know, any information that doesn't help me is irrelevant. Now, whether that's focusing on a past story, whether that's focusing on a past rejection, whether that is focusing on uh, inconveniences of the past, or <clears throat> let's even say something that somebody told you that, oh, you're not good at this, or you don't have what it takes for this, or, um, you know, you let's say you have ADHD, so you can't focus, like, the fact that you're short or the fact that you know you didn't have that success in the past, the fact that you were diagnosed with this or that thing, the fact that somebody told you this is irrelevant. Look at what's right, what's actionable, and just go for it. When things go your way, um, just enjoy the process. And by focusing on things that are right and that are relevant, you're going to begin to steer that narrative. You're going to begin to see and you're going to begin to have those internal representations and that shift you and nudge you towards that embodied version of yourself that is, that is getting the things that you want, that is worthy. When you're telling yourself that negative story, oh, well, you know, I, why do I suck at this and why do I suck at that? Obviously, you know, you, that is going to orient you towards those things. And, and what, what we're saying here is like, we really, you know, the, the, the key ingredient with all these things, whether it's Michael Jordan, anybody that's successful, they make that decision to only focus on what is relevant to them and what is right. Um, you know, Michael Jordan, he could focus on the fact that his high school guy didn't want him. He could focus on the fact that uh, he wasn't as tall as he wanted to be. But he focused on the fact that he knew that he could do it. He focused on the fact that he was good. He focused on the fact that he was training, that he was li living and embodying this greatest player, the greatest player in the world, right? And at the time of his reign in basketball, he was the greatest player in the world. So, you know, it's really just inspiring. It's encouraging. Like I said, I might do a little video um, soon showing, like sharing like celebrities and their, their kind of mentalities that they've had around shifting this narrative, shifting this story and, and focusing and dwelling on those, those results and those outcomes that they want. Because, you know, obviously with these people, it's like, we know who they are. We, we, we see them and we've seen what they've been able to accomplish. And sometimes it can be really just like reading the success stories on Reddit. Um, it can be really, really cool and inspiring to see the way that they, uh, the way that they kind of entertained these things in their mind, the way that they kind of spoke them into existence, the way that they felt them into being, right, conceived them into being. Anyways, guys, much love as always. I hope that this video has uh, been helpful to you. And drop this with a like, hit me with a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.